Okay, we're going to get this started. And uh, we've got these here. I don't know what you want to call them. Master Drummers and Family have brought a team together. We've been drumming and singing for a lot of events in Waswagi and we in a lot of places out there in Indian country. So uh, this is a historical event here this morning. And uh, I got to check and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Maybe what we'll do is right after these songs and after that uh, prayer is said, people were smart this morning, you know, good things done, then we'll introduce everybody here and go that direction. Been a long, long time coming, I guess that's what I can say. Here, you guys choose them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, give us an uh, opportunity to uh, probably just identify tribal government first, and we'll identify our guests. And, uh, anybody else in the audience want to stand up and say their names? I think it's a historical event. It's been a long time coming. And uh, we'll start off with uh, Mr. McDonough. <coughs> I just want to welcome everybody here. Thanks a lot. My name is Brooks Big John, member of Black Pamba Tribal Council. I'd like to welcome everybody too. Frank Mitchell, Tribal Council. Good morning, this is Andrews. I'm Andrews. I need a way to go for Nace and Digital Cars or Swagging in the Digital Park. I'm a quite good name. Um, English name is Ruben Santa Esteban, and I can represent um, the Latin Flambo tribe. And I just want to welcome you and thank you for being here and to a tribal membership. Um, I appreciate you being here as well for a historic event. Um, I'll circle. Um, thank you for being here as well. Welcome. I'd like to thank all of you for coming today. Anyway, Sange Man, my Flambo Tribal Council. Good to see everybody here on such a cold, cold day. But my name is Betty Green. Black Defender Tribal Council. And everybody, all our young kids here, young men. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming. Um, my name is Jamie Armstrong. I'm the secretary for the Black Defender Tribal Council. My name is Mitch. You want to take over from here and introduce the guests that are here? Um, my name is Zoya Neal, and I'm the Director of Land Management for our tribe and have been for 10 years. Um, this is a momentous, glorious day for our tribe. Strawberry Island has played a critical, vital, to me it's the defining point in our history when Black Flagle became Black Flagle. And uh, it's a glorious day for all of us as a tribe, and I see this as a healing point for our community and a huge step forward and I'm just so happy everybody's here and I know I know our community is is behind us and it's just a great day to be a like tribal tribal member. <coughs> Brandon, would you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? This is Brandon Tomes, he's our PR. Good morning, uh, just like to uh, welcome everybody. I uh, appreciate everyone coming. I see we have a great turnout, like Betty said, on a cold, cold morning. Um, I'd just like to uh, express my gratitude for Zoya and the land management's efforts along with uh, historic preservation I see is here. Also I'd like to um, introduce Mr. Uh, Boise Valier, Leon Boise Valier, who will be saying a uh, prayer this morning. So again I'd like to welcome everybody. Uh, we have my uh, co-director Ms. Kim Swisher who is the director of communications. And uh, again, we just welcome everybody and thank you. Sorry, do you want to start right with our yeah. guest, please? Would you want to just go ahead? Uh, Ken Kroll from WXPR Radio. I'm Mary Kimmerling from Phyllis Title Service. Adam Redman, owner of Redman Realty Group in the Hot Club. Hi, I'm Renee Duda with Redman Realty Group. Uh, I'm at Duda, and um, I'm uh, proud and honored to say that. I have worked with uh, Zoya Mayo from uh, Tribal Land Management. Um, I've worked uh, as a consultant for the Black Islam Tribe on a real estate basis on and off for the last 14 years, perhaps, maybe 15. But this is a historic event, and I'm very proud to uh, have been a part of it and have worked uh, with uh, Zoya. Josh? No. Uh, Josh Girl. My name is Georgian Brown. I'm from the old Indian village out here, live right across the lake from Strawberry Island, and I'm very honored to be a part of this event. I'm on the culture committee. 
Mitchell and I am the director of the museum and I am very very proud of our tribe and the step that we took to get our island back. Um, I'm glad to witness it. Mm -hmm. Put that in our history books. Which well my little daughter Hattie, she, she's too shy. So a little girl ain't growing that's Hattie. <laughs> Good morning, uh, Rain Sawyer. Obviously uh, we provided some of the goodies here this morning for everybody to one giant share before they had their own way, but uh, I hold two roles here in Lake Flambo. One um, manager over at our store and gas station across the street, also uh, the seated president for the Lake Flambo Business Development Corporation. Uh, it's about 19 years ago, actually. Um, I was just moved back up here and I worked over at Fence Lake Lodge and I had the opportunity to meet uh, Floyd Westerman, and um, I believe it was. Yeah, it was 1995, and he had come up here and done a peace gathering with the, with the, with the Chippewa, um, representing the Sioux. So uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, it's a great honor to sit in here, so thank you. <coughs> I'm Travis Mackey. I work with the Historic Preservation Office. Um, it's, I know it's something that we've been trying to come to agreement on for many years, and I'm glad that it's finally come to that point. I'm Sarah Schumann. I'm the Assistant Federal Historic Preservation Officer. Good morning. I'm Melinda Young, the Director of Historic Preservation Office. I've been with the program since 2000. Um, I'm honored to be a part of this today, and I appreciate Zoya and her staff and their hard work and the support of our cultural committee um, and our tribal council. Again, I'm just honored to be here. I'm glad to see this take place in my lifetime. And I have my son, David, here too. And um, we've been talking a lot since we have finally come to an agreement about the story of Strawberry Island. And um, I have expressed previously that I'm hoping um, to have a huge celebration this spring, um, bring our people together. Today is, like Zoya said, a momentous day. Um, but to have a bigger celebration this spring would be wonderful. And have a lot of our people come back home. Um, thank you.
day. Um, I hope that we can document this well so that we can give it to our children. It's very important that they understand the fight that went on, the battles that we had, just like she is doing now. <laughs> but so that they, they know and understand what happened. I mean, because there were decisions made you know, on both sides. So it needs to be um, documented as part of our history and something that they need to know about. I'm Lloyd Zorman, Director of Youth Services. I'm Jesse Peterson. I work with Soya Glen Management, and I'm honored to be here. It's a very, very wonderful day for our children, for us and our children. Good morning. <coughs> My name is Bawajikoy Magash. I'm a tribal member, elder at that, but I'm glad to be back home here and to see and witness this historic event to reclaim land that has been ours for many generations. It might have been done, you know, in a way that we never expected, but we still need to retain what's ours. It's not only the land, but our people and culture. Miigwech. <clears throat> Lucy Wolf, a tribal member, very proud of all of you. Thank you. Oh. Gerald Bard, tribal member, Ann Eller, younger one. Glad to be here this morning. I've always uh, spent a lot of time swimming and fishing around Strawberry Island, and I didn't know until I grew up that it, was, that it belonged to somebody else, and that was a real shock. So I'm glad to hear that it belongs to the tribe. She be with you. Ooh. My name is Brent McFarland, I'm the Business Development Director for the Tribe, and I'm also Brooks Big John, uh, eldest son. Thank you for having me here. Somebody else walking. Jean? Introduce yourself. My name is Jeannie Wolf. I'm a tribal member. work at the dental clinic. Christine? Bonjour. My name is Christine Dowd, and I'm the administrative assistant for Chairman Lawson. I'm a tribal member, and I'm very happy to be here. They don't you know. We're going to ask the gals to come up and do that pipe. Okay? disagreements over this island. It's like different people that stood up and talked about it, but it was ours. And this is how it was handled back then. Because government handles all Indian affairs is still a constant issue yet today in Indian country. So I guess it takes their money to buy it back, even though in heart we had it you know, all our lives. We're told the different stories I wish my good friend <coughs> Joe Chaucer was here. There have been pictures of and videos of him telling people that there will never be a villain on that island. I don't want to say what else he said after that. Like a lot of other elders said that. A lot of elders that passed on. I wish they were here to do that. And I wish they could uh, entertain and feel that. Uh, the vibes that are coming here today, and the different people that's participating. And like I say, I agree that maybe this, this spring that we, <coughs> we have a, a major feast for the whole community to 
to relish the fact that it was another fight, not just with the Sioux either. It was a fight with the non-Indian people out there in order to gain back things that are owed to us as Anishinaabe people. And uh, if the gentleman will come up that represents the Avalis uh, title service, come on up and receive this check for $250,000 before I head south. <laughs> Please come on up and right here. And then I'd like to get a, a full picture with our full tribal government Congratulations. after that, okay? It's signed, signed, sealed, and delivered. Adam, aren't you part of that? Adam, Strawberry Island. 
but I say he acquired this island under false pretenses. Because what the government did back in them days is they, they knew our Indian people didn't have the zunia, the money, to pay them taxes to the U.S. government. And they knew down the road that they would fail in their payment to the U.S. government. And they knew that they would reacquire that land. So, I mean, this trickery and this thievery that I call it goes way back to them days. And it's still going on today. So, you know, it is a special day here in Lake de Flambeau. And for our guests that are here, you have been privileged to be part of this smudging, this honor song, this prayer, and the pipes that were here. They're not brought out every day. They're brought out for special occasions when there is good spirits in the room. Nothing bad can be said today. There's no harm, there's nothing bad that goes on here today. No bad thoughts are in this room. So what you've seen here today, and I thank our people that have helped you be part of this. Uh, you know, it, it is a special day here in Lake de Flambeau. So I just wanted to say that much. I want to say me which again.
I, I just want to let everyone, everyone know there's uh, food and refreshments up there if anybody would like to grab some. And I'd like to say uh, um, a couple of final words thanking our council for being the leaders that you are. And it's a huge, huge moment in our history and I'm very proud of every single one of you and our entire community for supporting this. So thank you for being here. And it's a great day to be a Latvian tribal member. Thank you all.